you buy this insurance policy, okay? And it's designed and we're gonna use it for cash value. Now, it still has to be life insurance and you still have to qualify for it to be life insurance from the insurance company's perspective. And it's really two things, your health and your financial situation, right? You know, you can't buy $50 million worth of life insurance on somebody that makes 10 grand a year. Because guess what? That's somebody's going to be tempted to take them out, <laughs> right? Okay. You know, somebody's spouse is going to say, well, you know what? <laughs> you know, I'd rather have the 50 million. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kind of. All right. Now, this policy, by the way, it does have death benefit. It has illness protection. All those things that a life insurance contract has. And it grows guaranteed every day, uninterrupted. Remember one of our attributes was consistent growth? Yes. Right? Okay. Now we're going to buy it from a mutual insurance company. And the reason is that a mutual insurance company is owned by the policyholders. Okay. Which means that we have a contractual right to borrow up to 100% of our cash value and an interest only loan from the insurance company. Okay, Nick, this is where some people get confused. It's the <laughs> insurance company's money. Our money doesn't go anywhere. It stays in there and grows in a tax, potentially tax free, right? And all they do is put a lien on our cash value. That means I can't take their money and my money and run. They wouldn't be in business very long if they allowed that, right? So a couple a couple of really important points. I don't want to get glossed over because you said a couple of big things there. One, we're doing this with a mutual insurance company. That means that we are part owner in this business. We're going and borrowing money from a financial institution we are part owner in. Also, you said we're taking an interest only unstructured loan. Good luck finding that anywhere else, right? Because when we want to take a loan, we don't apply for it. Jim, it's, early, it's earlier in the day. We could have our money in our account, our checking account tomorrow wired to us if we wanted to. All, we, all we're doing is saying we want a loan, not going through the application process. So it's, it's the best loan that I've ever been able to find. Okay. Here's the other thing, Nick, is I don't think I told you this, but a week or so ago, I, I lent some money to somebody uh, with really good terms, and yeah. I had that money in the same day. Same day. I you ordered it early. Yeah. morning, and I got, and they wired. Now, um, I don't know if Kelly pulled some strings or threw somebody <laughs> down on the ground and twisted their arm <laughs> behind their back, but, but – uh, I got my money the same day. Okay, so it's a line of credit. You know, like for you business owners out there, you understand lines of credit versus loans, right? Okay, now think about this for a second. Now I have other people's money, right? And I have use and control of it. Remember what we said is one of the attributes was control. Okay, so here you are, Nick. Okay, you're now you have other people's money. You're yeah. going to take it and you're going to invest it, let's say, in real estate. And we're going to invest in this real estate because it's a cash flowing asset. So it makes money while it grows in value over here. Okay. So while it's growing in value, making money, and it has tax benefits. I like that. That money comes back to you. Now, you could turn around and put it right back in motion, creating velocity. If you put it back and give it back to the insurance company, any principal that you pay, remember you don't have to pay principal, but any principal that you pay, every dollar that you pay reduces your lien, increasing your net cash value. Nice. Now, when you pay the bank your mortgage payment, what do they do? They loan it out again as fast as they can. So now Nick is going to do real estate number two. Now, by the way, remember Nelson says in the book, you can do any, you know, you have to use your imagination. I could put on here that it's, I could put on here that it's um, a business, anything like that. It could be hard money lending. It could be anything. Okay. Yeah. Cash flowing assets. All right. Let me jump to the chase here. I just keep doing this over and over and over creating velocity of money. And what I'm doing 
is I'm getting money to flow to me instead of away from me. Okay. Here's the cool thing, Nick, is that <laughs> I have over here my insurance contract. I have a rate of return inside that insurance contract. I have my assets growing. I have a rate of return for their growth. I've got this cash flow. So I have rate of cash flow for these assets. And over here, I have death benefit. So I have legacy return. Okay. I get it all. <laughs> 